What's going on, everybody? It's your boy. Drop the Gamer here, welcoming you to the ultimate despair. Well, in the last episode of Danganronpa Trigger Happy Havoc, we picked a path. Um, we have learned that it is the good path, which is great. Um, good. Is that contextual good or is that actual good? That is what we're here to find out because you never know. Sometimes a good a good path is actually the bad path and vice versa. So we'll find out. The ultimate despair. A group of people who call who caused the tragedy one year ago. Those same people put together this killing game and began broadcasting it across the world. And the most desperately awful group of or well, the most desperately awful group of people ever. That is the mastermind's true identity. Our enemy has been re finally revealed. There it is, chapter six. But right now, anyway, right now we have to get out of this horrible place. Figuring out the rest of the story can come afterwards. Yeah, you're right. Agreed. How do we do that? Rattle, rattle. It's locked. But we have a way, or we have a way to open the door. Or obviously, at some point, the Monokuma statue, maybe. That's a rocket and a tank. I'd better not think too much about what I'm seeing down here. Okay. This is a desk. It's probably the one that fell down here with me. Facts. Is that an airplane? How does something like that wind up in the school garbage pit? Yeah, how does something like that end up in the garbage pit? Okay, there's the tank thingy. There's the actual garbage garbage. There's so much garbage here. I can't believe this place is even inhabitable. Kyoko, do you still have that one thing? Monokuma's secret tool that you got from the headmaster's room? Indeed. Of course I do. It's absolutely a vital part in ensuring the mastermind. Ensnaring the mastermind. I would never part with it. And it can open the door, any door to the school, right? That's right. That's right. Then we should be able to open, use it on that door, right? Hey, Kyoko, can we use that key of yours to open the door? Or we can use that key of yours to open the door, right? Let's find out. Kyoko took out the key with the Monokuma's design on it and slid it into the keyhole. And then, click. Yes, it opened. Indeed. And now we can get out of here. Let's go. Sounds good. We quickly, we quickly opened the door and made our escape from the garbage pit. Finally, we were finally free. But there wasn't even time to take a breath of relief because the real fight had just begun. Chapter 6. Ultimate pain. Ultimate suffering. Ultimate despair. Ultimate execution. And ultimate death. A deadly class trial is definitely not what they ended it up with, which makes sense. But it, hey, at least I remember, right? After leaving the garbage pit, we found ourselves in a tunnel extending straight up like a chimney. There was a metal ladder leading up into the tunnel. We started climbing the ladder, intent on reaching the surface. The ladder was impossibly long. I couldn't even see where it had ended. We climbed into darkness. The passage was so dark and cramped, I couldn't even see my own feet beneath me. I had no idea we were this far down. Don't lose your footing. If you slip, I won't be able to catch you. Yeah, I'll be careful. But now that you said that, I'm getting kind of nervous. Maybe the talking will help keep my mind off of it. Um, so Kyoko, I wanted to ask you something. Or something I wanted to ask you. You said you're the ultimate detective, right? So how long have you been able to do be or have been doing detective work for? How long? So... Ever since I can remember. I come from a long line of detectives. Detective work is in my blood. There was a time when being detective was considered a sacred duty. My family always has seen it that way. Then is your family famous? Wrong. Quite the opposite, actually. Even among actual detectives, many people haven't heard of us. Huh? But how come? It's like your family tradition, right? right. So, because we take pride in it. Pride? Indeed. A detective is neither light nor shadow. We represent neither justice nor evil. That is how we can uncover the absolute truth. We stand neutral in all things, and do that. And to do that, we have to stand separate from the rest of society. 
which is why we've made a conscious effort to conceal our existence. A conscious effort? It's, true. it's kind of old-fashioned, but and I can't say it's entirely rational. But our family creed, and and we do what we must to protect it. Because I like, like I said, it's our source of pride. Pride? So that explains. Before I came here, when I was looking up info about the school online, I never saw anything about her. Because she hid herself on purpose to protect the pride of her family. However, And yet, I gave up some of that pride. Huh? I... In order to enter Hope's Peak, I had to reveal myself to the school. I did it knowing that it was something a true Kagiri detective would never do. But for that reason, you gave up your pr that pride? That reason you would go so far to enter Hope Peak's Academy? Is it because that's how much you wanted to reconnect with your dad, right? There's no shame in that. What? Reconnect. I had absolutely no desire to reconnect with my father. Huh? But, but, you'd be reuniting after all those years, right? You would have done, had so much to talk about. Wrong. There's nothing I want to talk to my father However. about. There's something I want to say to him, though. What? I... No matter what it takes, I'll ha I have to find him and tell him face to face. What, what is it? So... I want to sever all ties with him. Sever? The last time I saw him, I was still very young. So I don't remember myself, but apparently he was an extremely intelligent man. He was in a line to become the next head of the Kagiri family. He was talented, he had a promising However. future. But he had no interest in detective work, so he cut himself off from the family. Not long after that, my mother died and he simply ran away. He went to my grandfather and they had a huge argument. And I was as and young as I was, he left me behind. I I'm sure there was a reason for that. I'm sure your dad wanted to take you with him. Right. If that was true, then I need to thank him. Thank him for leaving me. Because unlike him, I take pride in the work that I do. I take pride in the family name. So every part of me is happy he didn't take me with him. If I'd gone with him, I would have never had the chance to become a detective. I was above Kyoko on the ladder, so I wasn't able to see her expression, so I couldn't tell. I couldn't see how she looked when she said that, what might she, what she might have been feeling. All I could tell was that compared to her usual self, she was a lot more talkative, a lot more emotional. I, I don't blame him, you know. He had his own life to live. That's what anyone in my position might say, right? But it's not true. However, but there is one thing, one thing that I cannot forgive. Really? So... The way everyone else looked at me. I was never sad about being left behind, like I said. I think it was a good However, thing. But when the rest of my family looked at me, they saw something different. They saw only the little girl that was abandoned by her father. That's how they even see me to this I... day. His shadow has been following me my entire life. And I'm sick of it. I need him out of my life. I need his step out of his shadow. Correct. That is why I have to find him and tell him that we are no longer family. In order to settle the past. In order to remove him from my life forever. I have no doubt he forgot about me years ago. But what? Your family? Just to cut him out like that? Wrong. Our only connection is through blood. Nothing more. Are we connected by heart and soul? No. Is blood really enough to call someone family? Only connected by blood, not by heart or soul. I was so shocked to hear her say something like that, I didn't even know how to respond. So instead, I said nothing. I just kept climbing the ladder in complete silence. And after, I don't know how long, we finally reached the top. Looks like this is it. Indeed. On the other side of this door, Hope's Peak is waiting for us. We're back. That's right. Remember that hatch on the ground near the trash room? I'm fairly certain that's where we'll come out. I unlocked it earlier, so it should open without it much trouble. Well, here goes nothing. I reached my hand right up and pushed against the hatch. The hatch opened with ease, and so... Looks like we're back. I can't believe how long that ladder was. I am exhausted. I can't exactly say we're safe and sound, but... At least we're out of there. And now we're back at Hope's Peak Academy. Kyoko, thank you. I wouldn't have never gotten out with out of there without you. Peace. No thanks necessary. I was just returning the favor. This is a ha 
this is how we got out of the garbage pit. I never would have imagined that's where that's led. Incinerator and talking to Kyoko. Well, I, I oh, of course. Trying to talk to Kyoko and the game said no. So now what do we do? I'm glad I didn't die, but of course. But if the mastermind finds out, and I'm worried about you too. You help me, so they might. Listen. You're worried. Yeah, of course. Well, then. then let's just get a concrete answer, huh? In other words, let's ask Monokuma if there's a problem with you escaping. Wait, that's. However. If we try and hide, it's only a matter of time till we find out, and it's not like we can run away either. As she said that, she pointed at the nearby surveillance camera. You're saying that you'd rather than stressing out over getting caught, we should just give up now? Don't worry. What do you think's gonna happen because... isn't. Because the mastermind is the one that is ensnared. The mastermind is ensnared. You said something like that before, but what does it mean? So... The mastermind stood exposed during the investigation into Makuro's death. There was a moment where the mastermind let their guard down. There was? Right. If we can talk to Monokuma, we can confirm it. And it'll be better for us if we go to him directly before he tracks us down. That should help our, with our neighbor negotiations. I'm still a little, no, super uneasy about this. But we don't have a choice, do we? Indeed. Monokuma said, should be in the gym. Shall we go? Let's get going. Time to go to the gym. Um, I'm just gonna speed run. I think I'm gonna map it. I think the map is actually gonna be a little quicker. Oh, yeah, it literally was. It would have been way quicker if I wasn't hitting unnecessary buttons. You know, that's a big, that makes a big difference in this kind of a game. Also, I'm still going the wrong way. How I managed to go the wrong way twice, don't even ask me. I'm in chapter six of this game, after all. So I should know literally the entire map by this point. But it's fine. It's whatever. It's it's just a thing. It is it is what it is. Um. Well, now, well, now, well, now. Hey, 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 hey. Kyoko, I don't mind so much. But Makoto is supposed to be dead. What is he doing here? That's exactly how I thought he would react. Are we really going to be okay? You were supposed to be punished. Did Kyoko help you? What? So what if I did? What will you do? Shoot. If the guilty party is exposed during the class trial, they alone will be executed. It is, it's unfortunate, but that is the rule. So now I gotta punish you again, and this time I won't leave anything to chance. Ki Kyoko, do whatever you feel you have to. What? However. But before you do, let me just say one thing. If you execute Makoto, that means you lose. Not that that matters to you, right? Huh? I, I lose? Hey. You Explain yourself. What do you mean by that? Because... Well, you said this latest class trial yourself, right? Or you, you set up this latest class trial yourself, right? I was getting in your way, so you wanted an excuse to kill me. In other words... I was supposed to be chosen as the blackened, and then executed, right? Hey, what are you talking about? However, but when Makoto chose to overlook my lie, your plan came crashing down. The results of the trial weren't at all what you were expecting. <laughs> because you never imagined that in a position, one person would protect another like that. Right. And in response to that unexpected development, Indeed. you reacted by proclaiming Makoto the blackened. Or proclaiming Makoto the blackened and trying to execute him instead. You made the choice out of desperation, no more than that. You must have realized that Makoto, who refused to be manipulated, was a threat to you as well. However, but then, there was another unexpected development waiting for you. An entity that would throw a wrench, so to speak, into your precious execution machinery, Alter Ego. You never imagined the possibility of that being, or of a being that could come to our aid at, even after you killed it. Now, here's the absolute truth. Makoto didn't kill Makuro. You did. Listen to me. So executing Makoto for it would surely be in violation of your rules, which I know you love so much. If the Blackened is exposed, they alone will be executed. That's what you told us, right? Mm. Huh. And that means I lose? You talk a big game. You're saying that the Blackened is me and not Makoto? Well. And you can prove this, right? Well. No, I can't. 
don't just say it like that. What is this? A comedy routine? Too much to make such a bold claim without a shred of evidence? That doesn't matter. I know I don't have any right now, but with a little more time, I guarantee I'll find some. That's right. Because no matter how deeply you try and bury it, there's only one, ever one absolute truth. And now you're trying to talk like some kind of famous detective type. Because... If Makoto really was the killer, he never would have come to you willingly like this. He would have feared for his life, feared another execution. He would have tried to run and hide. He would have been gripped by the despair you so love to inspire. However, but here we are, confronting you with nothing but hope in our hearts. What the heck? And that's supposed to be enough to convince me that in the absence of evidence? Indeed. It's not you I'm trying to convince. Hey. If you were to execute Makoto now, everyone out here watching out there watching this would be extremely displeased. Huh? Indeed. Imagine what everyone out here would think if you killed Makoto. They would assume that you killed him because of, the, of what we said is exactly right. Listen to me. Despair can never kill hope. Yeah. Hey. Of course, you can say that we're just making all this up. You're welcome to prove us wrong. No, you have no choice but to prove it. Because if you kill Makoto without proving your own innocence, you'll be accepting your own defeat. Yeah. If you want to earn our despair fair and That's square... Then suge I suggest you take my advice. So what if this evidence of what is this evidence of yours or advice of yours evidence to Mac to do Makuro's trial over again? Only this time you follow the school regulations to ensure a fair trial. It's time for one last showdown, one final battle between hope and despair. Hey. Well, that would make a proper climax, wouldn't you say? A fair trial, one last showdown. In other words, this will be our chance to expose the true identity of Mukuro's killer, of the Mastermind themselves. But what reason would the Mastermind have to accept this challenge? They'll probably just execute me without another word. <laughs> interesting. Very interesting indeed. Barry? What's wrong? Oh, I was getting bored, so I decided to change things a little bit. So time for the bear jokes! Now, what you've suggested might be plausible. It would certainly make one honey of a climax. In other words, Does this mean you accept? You if we do things your way, that'll be enough to convince you and the viewers, right? And it would cause an unbearable despair, right? Then I prepared to agree to your terms. <laughs> will you hope your hope went out, or will your despair claim victory? Let's have one final grizzly showdown. He agreed. Then we still have a shot at this. But this is a long way to climax, right? Just guessing the killer is barely a fitting end. So for this final face-off, you'll have to unearth all the mysteries that have been buried here. All the mysteries? That's right. Every last mystery that's been pawing around the school. If you can do that... Then that'll be enough to qualify as a victory for you. It's true. That's what we've been trying to do all along. <laughs> oh well, good. Then let's bear it all. If you can claw your way to the truth of Makuro's death and solve the mysteries of this school, <laughs> then you win. But if you can't do all of that, well, we all face execution, right? I can barely contain my excitement. When you learn the whole truth, what kind of despair will you show me? <laughs> We're excited. We're as excited as you are, I'm sure. Listen to me. When we get un when we uncovered every last truth, how will the ultimate despair reveal their own despair? I can I honestly can't believe how all this has turned out. Hey. But before we get started, I want to clarify one more thing. Do you remember the rule? When one student kills another, that's when the class trial is held. What's wrong? I remember that, sh for sure. So what? Hey. I just want to confirm that that is what you said, right? And it it's a true statement? <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to be suspicious. I've said it before, but it bears repeating. Everything is based on the school regulations, and having a trial of Makuro is no exception to that. Huh? Makuro's trial is no exception. Then it's part of the regulations, which would mean that whoever killed Makuro... <laughs> <laughs> it's a very polarizing approach, I know, but 
Okay, enough of the puns. Anyway, here's a hint. I'm sure I've told you this already, but this killing game began with 16 participants, all of them high school students, and the only people to take a single step in Hope Peak since the killing game has begun. And are those 16 students. What? Listen. Are you telling the truth? Why'd he go quiet all of a sudden? I'm done talking. I got nothing left to say to you. So get lost, would ya? Why so mad? He seems emotionally unstable. Hey! Leave me alone. Get out of here. Okay, I'm going. I just... You're really gonna let me go? Huh, I don't even care anymore. Y'all are gonna get your punishment later anyway. I need to start getting it ready. A super duper extra special punishment overflowing with the spam. <laughs> Come on, Makoto. Let's go. Okay. <laughs> Makoto Monica's unstable laughter seemed to cling at us as he walked away. And just like that, we were out of the gym. I could hardly believe it, but somehow I ended up not getting executed. I still had my life. We still had a chance. Overall, things turned out better than expected. Well, once again, I was in Kyoko's debt. Kyoko, thank you. Everything I have right now is because However. of you. Don't thank me just yet. The real battle is still ahead of us. Yeah, true. Ew. But still, I'm glad it worked out. I wasn't sure if the enemy would accept my proposal. But honestly, why would the Mastermind agree to that? I mean, they don't stand to gain anything from the final showdown, do they? So they had no choice but to accept. Huh? Because it's all because the one moment that the Mastermind let their guard down, like I said. So when was the when was it that the Mastermind let their guard down? So I wasn't there to hear it myself, but do you remember what the Mastermind said? They said that they had hijacked the airwaves to broadcast our school life to the outside world, right? Yeah, that's definitely they definitely said that. Listen. And what did you think or and what did you think when you heard that? Pretty hard to believe, right? Well, I mean, the idea of actually taking over the airwaves seems so unbelievable. Indeed. You don't exactly read about something like that happening very often, so that's hard to imagine. In other words, the kind of thing is extremely difficult to pull off, However, and yet somehow the mastermind was able to do it. In other words, but think of another way. There must have been some reason they had to do something that difficult. A reason? So... They had to show the world something, no matter the cost us killing each other they wanted to show the world the mastermind has been very adamant about not killing us directly but forcing us to kill each other and the rules and regulations were designed to encourage that yeah that makes sense but if those stupid regulations didn't exist then nobody would have killed anybody In other words, so the mastermind's ultimate goal was to make us kill each other and show that off to the world but why correct. to prove the point most likely to prove a point, hey. the outside world has a name for the students at Hopi Academy, right? A certain concept. You're talking about hope, right? That's right. For the students who represent hope to kill each other and sink into despair. The mastermind wants to, the world to see that to try and prove that despair is better than hope. That's their goal as the ultimate despair. What? They want to prove that despair is better than hope? But that's... That's ridiculous. It's true. You're right. It is completely ridiculous and irrational. It's kind of thing that nobody but those who call themselves the ultimate despair would devise. The group whose only purpose and motivation comes from despair. But is that really their only reason for making the rest of us suffer? Makoto. I know how angry it is it must make you, and yet that same motivation is what led you to the mastermind revealing their weaknesses. What? In other words. Because their goal is to broadcast this killing game to the entire world, the mastermind has had to be more particular than is reasonable about their own regulations. If the mastermind simply ignored their rules, this wouldn't have been a game, but a one-sided slaughter. At, the very least. At least, that's how those who are watching this would have seen it. And that's why the mastermind couldn't kill any of us themselves. Indeed. That is precisely the reason, no matter how much they may hate what I'm doing, I haven't violated a single school, one of the school regulations. 
Junko broke the rules, so she was punished. But in my case, they couldn't lay a finger on me. Right. So instead, they tried to use the class trial, following all of their proper rules, to get me killed. They began a trial that didn't have the right that didn't have a right answer, then made me out to be the killer. But that did even that didn't True. work. Yes, thanks to you. And due to that failure, the mastermind took a yet another risk. They attempted to kill you instead, who also was not the killer. And then and when that fact was exposed on live TV to the entire outside world, the mastermind had to accept your suggestion. Indeed. To prove to the world that despair is better than hope, they have to defeat us in a perfect form. In other words, it would only do the mastermind harm to have shown that they had violated their own regulations. But after all of that was a but all of that was a hunch, right? And you were still able to get the mastermind to accept your However, challenge. Well, it's only thanks to you that we got that chance. Because you believed in me, another path opened up. Still, I can't believe how much the mastermind's thoughts and plans that you were able to figure out. I didn't have the slightest clue. Wrong. In the end, though, I couldn't prove any of it. It was just my reasoning. Essentially, I was making a bet. <sighs> but it looks like I got it right. This time, at least, I won the bet. She let out a quick sigh and took a small sign of relief. <laughs> to be honest, I haven't been that nervous in a long time. I totally couldn't tell you were nervous at all. You seemed totally confident and from the move moment you decided to go talk to him. <laughs> well... Presenting a strong demeanor is fundamental, a part of negotiation pers and persuasion, wouldn't you say? Plus, if I'd showed any uneasiness, that would have just made you that much more uneasy. Yeah, you're probably right. How pathetic. However, anyway, we can't relax just yet. All we've done is another, earn another chance to fight. We have to win this time. Correct. Or everything we've gone through will have been for nothing. You're right. If we can't defeat the Mastermind, it'll cost us our lives. There's no option except to win. But before we begin the final battle, we have to tell the others what's going on. True. But now that we know who our, what ha now we know who our real enemy is, all we have to do is work together with everyone to destroy the Mastermind. Work together with everyone. However, is that really possible? Huh? Anyway. Anyway, right now we have to find the others. Shall we go? They're probably in the dorm somewhere. Shall we go? We shall. They're probably in the dorms somewhere. Oh, I just realized like most of this map is blocked off for us. Interesting. This is Byakir's room. Is he inside? Knock, knock. Hey. I don't think he's here. Come on. We need to keep looking. Where could we possibly need to go? Maybe the dining hall? They said in the dorm somewhere, though. That's kind of what's throwing me off. I figured that they'd be in the dorm room. I'm 
and suddenly we were greeted with what you again is he broken I suppose his emotional instability has reached its limit Jeez, what the heck? However, I wonder what that's all about. I couldn't help but let off a sigh of relief. Ah. Is that Makoto? Y you guys. It is. There's no two ways about it. That's Makoto. Huh? You survived? Jeez. You're like a stubborn little cockroach, you know that? I'm just asking to make sure, but you're not a ghost, right? Everyone was there. All of my friends who struggled to or struggled to had struggled together and still survived. As soon as I saw their faces, I couldn't help myself. I started to tear up. What? Wait, what's that smell? The heck? Yeah, man, that seriously stinks. <gasps> it's Makoto. He smells like a wet dog. Get yeah. get away, away, shoo shoo. And in a flash, my tears dried up. Ugh, you stink. Are you rotten? <laughs> rotten, you. F physically, mentally, every way you can b b be rotten. Sorry, I was rolling around in garbage for a while. <laughs> the smell is so, so, so smelly. Ah. Uh, <laughs> oh, God. Toko, to I'm not even, no, 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 <laughs> no, no. She seems happy about winning for some reason. No, we're not, that, no. So what have you guys been doing while I was gone? Mm. Well, we figured out since the trial was over that we'd have to access the new place. Uh, we'd have to new access new places again. And Aww. no dice. All the rooms that were locked before were still locked, so there weren't any new areas. Then where can we find the new clues? Yo, Makoto, what was it like hanging out in the spirit of the world? I didn't go to the spirit world. Did you get to talk to her? Who? Miss hmm. Cleo. No, I didn't talk to her. I mean, I didn't go to the spirit world. I mean, who the heck is Miss Cleo anyway? Fair point, Makoto. Fair point. I still can't believe you survived. Yeah, me neither. Do you realize why it was? it is you that escaped ex execution? It was Alter Ego. He saved my life. That's right. Not too many people can say that their life saved by a computer program. Mm. I imagine it was a learning experience for you. Makoto. There's no time to indulge in an extended happy reunion. We need to explain to everyone what happened to Monokuma. Yes. Explain? Explain what? Mm. But it is okay that you're here. What if the mastermind catches you? It's true. It's related to what I have to tell you. That's related to what I have to tell you all. I need to tell you all about the last class trial. Last class trial? In other words, we need to redo Makuro's trial. Huh? What? Seriously? How about that? What's the point in redoing it? Makoto killed her, right? No, I didn't do it. Like, I keep telling you. Wrong. Makoto isn't the killer. And of course it's not me or any of you. Huh? Th th then, who, who, who is it? I see. What she's saying is... It's all the work of the mastermind. Huh? What? So you're saying the mastermind killed Makuro? That's right. That's right. It was all an elaborate trap contrived by the mastermind. Makoto spotted the trap in time and did what he had to do to stop it. However, but his decision meant that he would be the one to die. Wh what did you say? You spotted the trap? Did you, Makoto? You made it sound like it was easy. I just, you know... But executing Makoto, who wasn't the blackened, is a clear violation of the school regulations. The rules state that only the blackened is to be executed. The mastermind broke their own rules, which is why I went and negotiated with them to have the trial one more time. Huh? And the mastermind agreed? Does that mean they really did break the rules? Hm. They have no choice to agree. You used the TV broadcast to gain the, gain the leverage you needed, didn't you? Correct. Very observant of you. Naturally. I recall what you said at the end of the last trial. When you said, 
Now the mastermind has been ensnared. That's what you were referring to. Don't be mean. Hey, I'm totally in the dark here. When aren't you, hero? For anyone who doesn't understand, you can ask Kyoko to explain it later. So, knowing all of th this, what do we do now? About that. It's about who killed Makuro, right? And so our job is to expose the mastermind. But there's more than to it than that, correct? Um, yeah. For us to win this time, we have to solve every last mystery surrounding the school. Uh, every last mystery? But, but we've been looking around all this time and we still don't know anything, right? Anyway. You've probably guessed already. But if we lose this time, everyone dies. Oh, no. Everyone? Hey, hey, who said you could agree to those t t terms without talking to the rest of us? Yeah. I'm fine with things the w way they are. I'm fine with living here forever with my master. I, meanwhile, want to get out of here as soon as humanly possible. Anyway, anyway the point is the only way for us to survive is to unveil the truth. Hmm. In other words, one decisive final battle, battle. A rather interesting development, I would say. But, but figuring out the mastermind and how it's gonna, how they killed Makuro and the school's mysteries. Uh, it's a pretty tall fridge in order. Maybe by the time the trial, by this time the trial is different. We know who our enemy is now. So if we work together and search as hard as we can, I'm sure we can solve all of those mysteries. I'm not too sure about that, huh? I can't agree with the idea of us working or of working together with everyone. You can't agree? Why not? I mean, working together with everyone seems like the most obvious way to solve all the mysteries. Indeed. That's what I thought too, at first, until Monokuma gave us a little hint of his hint. A very polarizing approach, I know. Okay, enough puns. Anyway, here's a hint. I'm sure I've told you this already, but. This killing game began with 16 participants, all of them high school students. The only people to take a single step in Hope Peak since the killing game has begun. And those 16 students? I see. Monokuma said that, did he? Then Kyoko's opinion is perfectly reasonable. Huh? But why? So in other words, the mastermind, if the mastermind is the one that really killed Makuro, as the Kyoko says, then the mastermind would have had to set foot in the school, right? Monokuma could have probably could probably murder Makuro, but there's no way he could have disguised the scene like that. In other words, but according to Monokuma, only the people that have set foot in Hope's Peak are the 16 students that have been taking part in the killing game. Then the m mastermind is... There are 15 of us in the m main hall at the very beginning. Added Makuro, and you got 16. So the mastermind w w would have to be one of them. That's right. And those of those 16 people, we started out with the only one still alive. Are the people standing right here? Need I continue? Or do I you get it now? What? So you're saying the mastermind is one of us? No way. You can't be serious. Wait, we can't say for sure that's true yet. Monica might have just said all of that to confuse Indeed. us. It is certainly possible, but only one among many. The mastermind is being what being one of us also is a possibility. And that is one possibility we can't ignore. Yeah, I mean, they are an ultimate, right? The ultimate despair. So they m must be a high schooler. You can't say it. it's not p possible. But if one of us is the mastermind, they'd have to be controlling Monokuma somehow, right? But did you ever see, did you see every, anyone ever acting suspicious anytime Monokuma was active? Well. Maybe they s s snuck off and c controlled him in in secret. But. I don't care how sneaky you are. We would have noticed something somebody sneaking off that many times. I'm right, right? Then maybe Monokuma was on autopilot, and maybe they loaded it all up with dialogue and actions beforehand. Hero, oh, 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 oh. that's uh, us. In that case, uh, there's no way he could have had all of those back and forth conversations with us. Hmm. Well, it wouldn't be entirely impossible if they directed the flow of the conversation. Well, well maybe, but still. Uh, this is a school announcement. You've all probably. 
probably figured this out by now, but at this point, the killing game has now entered true ending mode. What? So, in the name of fairness, I will unlock every room in the school. Look wherever you want. Solve the mystery in whatever way you see fit. <laughs> then we can all meet up at the class trial, okay? Yeah! <laughs> How very magnam magnanimous of him to unlock all the rooms. That's fine. The time for talk is done. Now we need to begin our investigation. But I was planning on working alone from the beginning anyway. The at the point... I can rely on myself, on the Tagami blood flowing in my veins. I have no time to worry about the rest of you. Each of you must uphold your responsibility. After making his final statement, Byakuya left the dining hall. Kagaga, master. He didn't take me with him. Hey. Do you blame him? <laughs> Without master, the rest of you are like coffee with cream. Without the cream or c coffee yeah. you are totally useless S so bye with that togo trudged out of the dining hall and now she's gone you're gonna go off by herself right kyoko indeed that's right hmm. which just leaves makoto hina and me you know? in that case i'm gonna go by myself too just a second. wait how come how about that? just wait and see I'm going to use my totally awesome spirit power to figure out the mastermind's identity. <laughs> Laughing loudly, Hiro left the dining hall. Aww. Everyone really is going off by themselves. What about you, Hina? Mm. Hmm. I guess I'll do the same thing. I mean, it's not like I don't trust anyone, you know? But up till now, I haven't been able to be all that useful. I just depended on Sakura and everybody else. You're not useless. If you hadn't been there, I would have died. Makoto. Huh. That's a really nice thing of you to say. But still, I know I've most been mostly been useless. Okay. I, so I figure, at least here at the end, maybe I can help find something that will help us get out of here. And I'm going to go off and do it all by myself. <laughs> See you later. Hina was surprisingly in high spirits as she dashed out of the dining hall. And once again, it was just us two. Indeed. And once again, we'll be leaving off with just us two. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode. We are going to carry on forth on this amazing adventure. Um, I cannot believe that we're here. Love you all. Bye.